Hey everybody, Mike Cipperini from Chippers Island Adventures and today I'm going to talk about my electric e-bike. It's a step through version 2.0 and I'm going to swap out the seats with hopefully a better seat. <laughs> So hey everybody, about a year ago, I bought these two e-bikes. I actually got them during the Black Friday special. And with the Black Friday special, they came with the upgrades. And one of the upgrades was the comfort seat. Now the normal seat, which I have here, this is the seat that it came with. And you can see it's pretty well constructed. The only problem is it's a little bit thin, whereas the comfort seat is much wider so this is the comfort seat and this is the seat the original seat so as you can see the comfort seat is a little bit wider so it's a little bit more comfortable while riding long distances the problem is this comfort seat is junk now I could take it and tighten it up and do some stuff to it but it, it's just not working and so what happens is that is not a good thing to have so as far as I'm concerned these particular seats are junk so what I did is I went online and I got the cloud 9 and this is the cloud 9 cruiser version and it is basically the same size as the comfort seat maybe a little smaller but about the same width actually but instead of having the springs it has these two nice little cushions here and it certainly feels a lot more solid so this is the this is the package that it came with and as you can see it has an elastometer spring a select foam it's vented and it has anatomic relief. And this is the Cruiser Select Airflow Saddle. If I look at the back, there's three different types. There's a comfort position, sport position, and the cruiser position. And as I said, this appears to be the cruiser position. It's wider saddles for riders that sit straight up and put most of their weight on the rear of the saddle. I didn't really choose any particular design I just happened to see what most people were choosing and they seemed to prefer this and I went with it so today I'm going to put it on give it a quick install and then we'll give it a quick test in order to do this you need two 14 mil wrenches that's two 14 millimeter wrenches with the old and with the new The old seat was rocking left and right on those little springs. This certainly feels a lot better. I'm going to take for a quick ride.
anyway, this seat feels a lot better on this bike. And I'm really happy with the way it, it's going so far. But the real test is going to come when I ride it for 5 to 10 miles and we'll see how comfortable it is. But for now, it's a pretty simple install. A couple 14 millimeter wrenches to tighten it down and you're back in business. The original seat that comes with electric bikes is actually a pretty good solid seat. So I'm going to keep it because I still have the comfort seat on the white step through. So if that gives out, I can use this. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And as I always say, all the best to all and happy RVing.